I have one question for you. Are you one of those people who leave a house and just can't remember, did you close your doors, close your windows? Because honestly, I am. Every time I leave my house, I just can't remember those things. But you know, one thing that I never forget, that's my phone. I always have my phone in my hand. So I was thinking, if there's just a way that I can, for example, call my house and say, close all the windows, it starts to raining. And you know how we used to say, Houston, we have a problem. Now we said, Houston, we have a solution. Imagine device that transforms your house from regular to automated. Device that gives you opportunity to control your house with your phone. Smart, universal actuator, aperturas. In front of you is device that when placed on doors, roads, windows, gates, anywhere, transforms them from regular to automated. And I know what you're thinking right now. Azra, for sure, that's a great idea, but now I have to change all my doors and windows for that device. No, you don't have to. <laughs> that's the beauty of our device. It's universal. You put this device on doors you already have, and now they're automated. Aperturas is using microcontroller with dual processors that can be connected with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Also, some parts are 3D printed. But you know what's the best part? Aperturas constantly monitors doors' movement so it can prevent some possible accidents. Long time ago, people said that two heads are smarter than one, three than two, but imagine 100. So we explained to random 100 people what Aperturas is, how it can be used, where it can be used. And we asked them simple questions such as, how much are you willing for, to pay for this type of device? And more than 17% is willing to pay more than 800 for this type of device. Also, we ask them questions such as, would you use it? And those are results. And for the beginning, they are pretty much promising. Now, allow me to explain you even bigger picture. We understand that this device can be used in homes, but where else? Imagine a device that is so unique, but so universal, that can be used in so many places, such as schools, hospitals, public restrooms, anywhere because opportunities are endless and the sky is a limit. Also, this is just the first version of this device that we managed to make in this short, short 12 weeks, but we have plans for the future. Imagine connecting, connecting this device with Alexa, Google Assistant, security cameras, and many, many more. Because as I said, what is the limit? The sky. 3,000 years ago, ancient Phoenicians invented money and they put the price on everything. So we followed their lead and we put price on our device. Basic model and the premium model. Basic model is for people who really need automated homes, such as people in wheelchair. And this device has basic functions, such as opening and closing doors with your phone. And the price for this device would be 700 baht. But the premium model is the for, for people who really want smart houses, device that has so many more functions. And the price for this device would be 1,200 BAM. And now this part is for you investors. We asked for 16,200 BAM for 10% of our company and for initial investment. So my my message for you today would be open smart not hard this was tim ingmet Mehta master of mechanical engineering with special field in robotics dino hashimbegos mechanical engineer with special field in design and 3d modeling emma ibrahimovic medical student and marketing specialist and for the end azra jobo that would be me medical student and pr team member thank you for attention stay tuned for more Now, please join me here. I'm very lonely here. Here you have.
first of all, fantastic presentation. I think you should uh, look into the PR career. <laughs> Looks really good. But uh, you haven't mentioned anything about competition here. So I'm just wondering about, first of all, like who are your competitors and how easy or hard is it to copy your device? I'm just a PR, so I will allow Mehmet to answer this question. So thank you for your question. Uh, sure enough, there is some competition, but uh, not so much in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, like uh, I could ask you, can you name like two companies that offer such devices? No, but uh, in the world, there are some uh, standard like industries industry devices that use like uh, RF remote or something like that, that's kind of outdated, but uh, uh, their prices range from around 350 US dollars up to like uh, $2,000 for a device like this. Seems to me like you have two processors and the microcontroller, right? And it seems like an overkill for the application itself. Why that decision? And also have you considered using it for robotics? Just more universal and more lucrative. There's a huge demand for that. Could be. So is it, why do you need two processors on the board for a microcontroller? Because it's a very simple application. There's not many modes that you can use. And also did you consider robotics because that's a much more lucrative application. Uh, why two processors? Because it's a ESP32, it's a very famous and cheap microcontroller but we don't need to but it's uh, like <laughs> it's newer <laughs> it's there like uh, yeah so have you uh, uh another additional features yes it could be connected with uh, uh, bio, uh biometric identification with uh doors like uh, fingerprint or something like that uh, uh i don't know uh, 1,500, uh, uh, so 1,500 Newton meters like, uh, for this prototype we made, but it should be uh, made for the doors like lighter than 50 kilos and uh, premium version for doors up to 150 kilograms. I forgot, what was the communication channel you said? Wi-Fi, what? Um, I can give you the link of the company in Germany that already did this and I was involved in some of the projects we did with this one and you might want to consider MQTT communication and LoRaWAN. Wi-Fi, we hacked most of them, intercept and basically you can hack in someone's home, open windows, do whatever you want. So, <laughs> so uh, LoRaWAN is pretty much safe, but it's commercial and MQTT is much faster. You know, you don't lose connection that much as Wi-Fi. Anything on a radio also RFID is hackable. Uh, yeah, for now it's on a local network. So pretty much it's kind of safe, but in, like it's not outside of the network. So, but in the future we will uh, use another communication method. No, it's on local network. So if you see it's IP address one ninety nine. It's it's not yeah, it's not currently on the app, it's on a, a web server that uh, ESP thirty two hosts host. It's MVP right now, so Uh, so Amar asked, is the device battery operated? And if so, what is your estimated battery life? Uh, it's not battery operated, but it could be uh, backed up with the battery. Like it goes on the 12 volts and uh, it will be used like power supply, but not solely on battery power. I just want to comment on the pitch. I mean, I, I mean, this is like I've been for the last ten years. I've been working with hundreds of startups, and you know, uh, but this must be like one of the most interesting and fun pitches I mean I've ever seen. Like this is crazy. I mean, like like kudos to you and for brand and marketing. You, you will be remembered uh, for sure. Uh, so I mean, 
I mean, there are things that I would give you an advice on details, but I think it's really it's a really good approach. So, I mean, uh, if you go to startup competitions, people will re remember you for sure. Uh, very charming, very nice. So, kudos to that. Thank you very much. <laughs>